But now that we are here, uh, we need to go exploring because now that the Kukai Foundation is kind of up and running again, um, I don't know why everybody's so calm. Hell, I don't even know how we have all this time to go around. Weren't we given like a 20 minute time limit? I spent more than that in the database. We are free to move around, I guess. Uh, but if we head over here, and I believe it is, no? Maybe it's behind here. There is definitely something in this ball. Maybe if I blow all these up? No? Maybe if I blow this up? I swore there was something back here. There we go. There it is. We get Tech Upgrade S. Very much worth uh, the trouble that we went through trying to find it. Just a few items ha are, are new here in the sectors of the Kukai Foundation, but it's always nice to come back and get them, especially these upgrades. I will... Mm, yeah, yes, I will use them before we go into Proto Merkaba to try to level up everybody. Now, if I remember right, I want to... Is it inside? No, it's, it's right around here. It's... It's in front of the inn. It's not, like inside the art treasure room. Should be right around here. Maybe it's out front a little bit more. I swore it was here somewhere. Oh, never mind. It's in the... Ah, yes. Okay. Now, I know where we're going now. Unfortunately, that does mean I have to go through the whole rooftop thing again, but I am fine with that, I swear. Why do I have to go through that again? Oh, there's the EVS here. I forgot about that. If you wanted to go back, and we do want to go back, there's an opportunity for you to do it. But I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm in search of Assistant Scott. And for those of you paying careful attention, you probably already saw him. Uh, no, it's... Where am I going? God, I hate the Kukai Foundation. I get so lost here, still, to this day. Lost. Trying to go around... The The damn Kukai Foundation. Sorry, I love the sound that Ziggy makes when he climbs ladders. <laughs> oh god, it's awesome. Uh, listen to that. They put some effort into that. You know what I mean? Now, um, isn't it... I think it's... Here. Yes, right here. There we go. Blow that up. Blow that up. And there we get what I was looking for. Skill upgrade A. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for what you did earlier. I can work without any worries thanks to you guys. Yes, you can. And here we can get out of here. Can I open this from the outside? Fuck. <clears throat> okay, so I could have just opened that from the outside. That would have made things a lot easier for me if I had pressed that button. But I didn't. So we went around the long way. Because Ziggy needed his exercise, and we need to hear Ziggy climb a ladder. Even though I think we could be doing that again. No, no, we're not doing that again. As you can see, this sector, not so hot. This one's not doing so well. We need to go... Can I go, like, through here? Oh, that actually does lead, like, outside uh, the sectors. Back to the world map, which is not something that I want to do right now. This is the dry cleaning place once more. There is another item here that I am looking for. And between this and, I think, one more item, then I think we are ready to find Assistant Scotch. Remember, the most important thing is the thing that you put off until the end. So, let us head back here, and I swear it was... Where? There it is. It's back here somewhere. Here we get Skill Upgrade S. Once again, the upgrades, very important at this late hour. I will be using them. I don't need to. I'm just going to go ahead and say that now. I don't need to use any of the upgrades. I can probably make it through the end of the game as is, but I will be using them because they gave them to me. Now, if I remember right, it should be back here. It is! There's an email for Sheon, and even though Sheon's not in the party, we get the last email of the game. I know you guys are all excited. You shouldn't be, because it's another ad for Soul Calibur 2. 
which I mean I like Soul Calibur I like it as a series from what I understand it actually has a story to it and I I do like fighting games that actually you know attempt a story and it's not just like we set up a tournament here you go fight uh, but there you go Soul Calibur 2 if I remember right this is not the one Wait, there's a quote here? Transcending history in the world, a tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. By some guy at, at the Namco Home Tech Inc. <laughs> if I remember right, this is not the one that introduced Link, and I think Hihachi from Tekken was in one of them, and Yoda was in one of them. I, if I remember right, this is not that one. That would be Soul Calibur 3. But I could be wrong. I am not an expert in the Soul Calibur series. But there we go. 51 emails. That is all of them. We have gotten all the emails. We are no longer going to be bothered during uh, peacetime. And by peacetime, I mean eminent doom. We could die at any moment. But let's go around and look for emails. But we are done with that. No more emails. All 51 of them have been obtained. Now it is finally time. We can find Assistant Scott. Now, we are almost done with uh, what I can do before taking on the optional bosses and the optional enemies around here. But after finding Assistant Scott, uh, who, by the way, is in the bar, because where else would he be after he had cursed the, the professor for drinking? He went out and started drinking himself. Huh. Remember the yawnings? Yeah, me too. Uh, the, after he went out and cursed the professor for drinking, he's here drinking. Because what else would he be doing? If I remember right, he's up at the bar top, too. He's not at one of the lounge tables. He's a full-on drinker. Actually, though, when I go to a restaurant, I like sitting at the bar, too. There he is! He look all sad. Damn it. Damn it! Why doesn't the professor understand? Why won't he listen to my opinions? I'm... I'm... I'm just worried about the professor, that's all. Damn, I need a drink. Damn eccentric, hard-headed geezer. I don't care anymore. He'll regret it later when he's all alone. The professor can't even do anything by himself. He really can't do anything without me. He's probably having problems right about now. The professor might even be crying. Not like me. I'm not crying. Damn! I know he needs me. I can't just leave the professor all by himself. Professor, just hang in there. I'm coming to help you. And I believe we get warped back with him. So that's nice. I don't like having to make the run back. So thank you for that, Zio Saga. Thank you for warping me with you. If indeed you did. You did! Very nice. Professor's Giant Robot Training Hall. Final chapter. Part 2. Episode... Friendships are forever. W oh, that's still the title? The Messenger of Love, Justice, and Courage. Erdik Kaiser is here. We brought back the person you've been waiting for. P Professor. Huh? What a meddlesome thing to do. That's putting it strongly. If you want, we could just take him back with us to the Foundation. Well, whatever. Come, Assistant Scott. Get to your station quickly. We have a big once-in-a-lifetime job to do. An utterly rude old man. We're still making demands to Assistant Scott. This is clearly not dialogue that was written for Ziggy. Yes, sir. Roger that, Professor. And you. What? I'm glad you're back. Thanks. Let's go, Assistant Scott, begin transformation! That is some good typing right here. Okay, Professor, set transformation! You guys really need to clean up around here, you know that? You've matured into a man in the short time that I hadn't seen you. This academy should be safe in Assistant Scott's hands. Professor, you're definitely the greatest. You really shine when you're making robots. But the parentheses implies their thinking. But as a result, we have the giant robot. 
Behold! Love, courage, justice, victory, friendship, effort. The symbol of all such things, united and invincible, absolutely just, the Erde Kaiser. Once again, I apologize for not knowing how to pronounce that thing, but it is, once again, in German. Are you, are you gonna tell me about this? What is it? It looks like, well, it looks like both Voltron and the Power Rangers. What are we doing with this thing? What do you think? The incarnation of my dream. The Erde Kaiser will never lose. Of course it won't. Do you have anything to say about this? A lot happened between the professor and me, but in the end, he is a great scientist. I'll continue to work for him. Actually, it sounds like he's gonna give it to you. Uh, so, I believe we are just free to leave. They're not gonna tell me what it is, unfortunately. I think we all know what it is, but they haven't officially say it, said it, and it doesn't look like they're going to, so I might as well go into the menu and show it off there. Obviously, this is going to be an ether for Xion. Actually, Xion is in my party. Uh, here, you can look at it. It is below the Seraphim Bird, Throny Blade, Dominion Tank, and now we do have the Erde Kaiser. All enemies slash attack. You can only use it once per battle. It is the ultimate attack using a combined form. I will be showing that off eventually. It does have a very uh, cheesy animation from what I remember. Very similar to the Power Rangers. I think it's a callback to the Power Rangers. It could be uh, to Voltron though, because, well, to be honest, I didn't watch much of Voltron. If I remember right, yeah. It takes up everything. She can use this and only this if she has it on. So let's go ahead and take this all off so that hopefully we can see how much it costs. There we go. Ernie Kaiser. Can I use it? It costs 60 EP, which if you notice, I do not have on Xion. She's only got 45, so I can't even use it. I'm not a high enough level yet. Uh, in case you are curious, the other three, they should be a little bit cheaper. They are 16 for Throny Blade, Dominion Tank costs 20, and Seraphim Bird costs 24. But at the end of the day, I don't really want to use any of them. I will show them off, uh, but because they do weigh so damn much in terms of what I can set here, I don't like them. But Erde Kaiser. How can I not show that off in at least one battle? So I will show that off eventually. Xion does become a summoner exclusively because of this kind of stuff, which is why they give you so many ether points for her. Uh, you just learn them throughout the, the game naturally. Uh, so I have 900 so that I can transfer some of her other stuff over to other characters. That's really the point of that. But I will try to avoid that if I can. Yes, I must complete that. I, I am that I will be back we have one final thing to do I before we we do move on uh, there is one part of the EVS that I have not gone back to just yet does not involve optional bosses just yet but there is something there waiting for me is it worth all the effort probably not but I'm gonna get it anyway I'll meet you there and we are back inside the Encephalon. This time, instead of just going all the way to the church, we had to go through the entire two paths of the Encephalon in order to make it back here to the beginning of Xion's uh, part of the Encephalon. I do need to change my main character here. It needs to be either uh, Junior or Momo, either one of these will do. Uh, we'll just put it as, actually let's put it as Junior. Junior doesn't get enough screen time. Momo gets all the attention because she's special, even though Junior got it the last time. Now if I remember right, it should be right here. And in here we can get PM card A. 
not worth the 40 minutes that it took me to get here, but that is what you get. You get the PM card A, and that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my closer to the end squad of Momo, Ziggy, and Junior, who have been getting some leveling up along the way here. Chaos, Xion, Cosmos, they are hanging out in the back. They will join us eventually. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.